and that was responsible from this low pressure system out towards Winnipeg. As it slides on east, we're going to see a cold front begin to drop down from the north. It's also going to have a little bit of a low pressure system begin to phase with it as we see it slide further south and east. Not going to give us too much snow here in the Northland, but Minneapolis could get a couple inches of snow tonight. And as we go into our Thursday, that cold front drops on through and our temperatures fall into the 20s for Thursday. We see that low pressure system slide on out of here. Cold front continues to move through the Northland. High pressure develops to our west and we'll have a cold day in store for Friday. And then we rebound a bit on Saturday as a low pressure system starts to affect a little bit of more warmer air into our region by Saturday. Here's a look at how that plays out temperature wise. We'll be in the low 40s across most of Wisconsin today. Mid to upper 30s here in the Twin Ports, lower 30s out along that international border into the arrowhead of Minnesota. But tomorrow, much cooler. Teens once you get towards International Falls all the way through near Grand, uh, Grand Marais. Mid 20s here in the Twin Ports, even some upper 20s possible in central Minnesota. So fairly close to the normal for this time of year. But by Friday, we're falling down into the teens region wide, even single digits once you get out into northern St. Louis County and Kuchichin County. That's where you could see temperatures not reaching even 10 degrees. will be below normal for the first time since January 20th on Friday. Yeah, it's been quite a mild streak here in the Northland. Cloud cover, as I mentioned, will persist throughout the day today. We'll see that chance of snow begin to arrive around this evening time from east central Minnesota out towards far southern portions of our region towards Siren and Hayward. Even Watersmeet getting in on the action overall. Not expecting a ton of total snowfall. Going to be about a trace to an inch in those locations. Maybe getting close to that inch once you get out towards Watersmeet and Hayward. Most of us, though, not seeing anything at all if just a dusting overall. Valentine's Day forecast looking pretty good today. Going to be mild but cloudy. 36 degrees, your high temperature. So overall, not a bad day to spend with that special someone. Am I right, guys? 30s out there across Minnesota and low 40s into Wisconsin. Those winds do pick up out of the west at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And a breezy day in store for Thursday. Cooling down on Friday and then we rebound back to normal by the weekend.